we present a new method for indoor scene reconstruction with the Manhattan World Assumption. Given posed multi-view images, we aim to reconstruct the geometry of the scenes to enable applications such as augmented reality and optics. Traditional methods mostly adopt multi-view stereo pipeline. Given a set of images, they first estimate per-view depth map based on multi-view image matching, and then perform depth fusion in 3D space. While these methods have shown great results under ideal scenarios, they have difficulty in reconstructing low-textured, specular and reflective regions. Because these regions make dense matching intractable and thus lead to incomplete reconstructions, Recently, some methods model 3D scenes as implicit neural representation and learn it from images with differentiable renderers. In particular, Newson Vol SDF use sign distance field to represent scene geometry and render it into images based on volume rendering. While these methods can achieve high quality reconstruction results on texture rich scenes, they are of poor performance on indoor scenes. The main reason is that indoor scenes contain many texture less regions. Moreover, the reconstruction of texture-less regions will also affect the reconstruction performance on other regions. Our key idea is to apply regularization based on the Manhattan World Assumption, which states that floors and walls of indoor scenes generally align with three dominant directions. Previous multi-view stereo methods have attempted to integrate planar constraints and depth optimization. They first find planar regions in the scene. Then, they construct an objective function that requires estimated depth should conform some geometric constraints in these regions. However, these multi-view stereo methods focus on optimizing per-view depth maps instead of the full scene models in 3D space. As a result, depth estimation could still be inconsistent among views, yielding suboptimal reconstruction quality. In contrast to traditional multi-view stereo methods, implicit neural representations are optimized in 3D space, which makes them naturally consistent across different camera views. So it could be better if we can apply the regularization on implicit neural representations. This figure presents a pipeline that applies the regularization to implicit neural representations. We use an off-the-shelf 2D semantic segmentation network to segment floors and walls of indoor scenes, and then apply geometric constraints to these regions. Specifically, we enforce normal directions of floor regions to be straight up, then we introduce a learnable normal and enforce normal directions of wall regions to be either parallel or orthogonal, with the learnable normal. Applying geometric constraints can improve the reconstruction quality in most cases. However, 2D semantic segmentation results predicted by the network could be wrong in some regions, which leads to inaccurate reconstruction. To solve this problem, we augment the neural scene representation by additionally predicting semantic logits for each point in 3D space, which is used to render 2D segmentation under a particular camera view. We then improve the geometric constraints to join to optimization loss to optimize semantics together with geometry. The joined optimization strategy can correct some pixels which are misclassified to planar regions by reducing the corresponding probabilities. Note that a trivial solution is that both the probabilities of being floors and walls vanish. To avoid this, we also supervise the semantics using the cross-entropy loss. We conduct ablation studies on ScanNet and show the effectiveness of each component in our method. The reconstruction results of VOL-SDF are inaccurate and incomplete, especially in planar regions. By adding the supervision of coal map point clouds, the network can converge better, but the reconstruction results are still of low quality. By adding normal loss, reconstruction in planar regions can be improved, but some details in non-planar regions could be missed. By replacing normal loss with joint optimization loss, our method can achieve the most coherent reconstruction results. The joint optimization also improves the accuracy of input segmentations. As shown in qualitative results, our method reconstructs geometry with better quality compared to state-of-the-art MVS and volume rendering-based methods. The quantitative results also show that our method achieves the best performance. Thanks for watching. Welcome to our project page for more information.